Tonight, on this very day in 1998, Singapore celebrated a historic milestone. The first Singaporeans set foot on the peak of the world's highest mountain. Here's their story. You're watching News 5 tonight. The Singapore Mount Everest expedition team has reached the summit, making them the first from Singapore to scale the world's highest mountain. Two of their members, Ku Sui Chiao and Edwin Siu, reached the peak at 8.30 this morning, Singapore time. The last stretch of the climb to the top was expected to take between 10 and 15 hours, but both climbers did it in nine. What helped were fairer weather conditions and fewer climbers on the mountain. I spoke to them on the radio when they arrived at Camp 4 and they sounded tired but they sounded uh, fine. That's David Lim, the leader of the first Singapore Mount Everest team, listening to his interview 20 years after the event. But you know, interesting, this clip that you just showed me, right? This is the first time I'm seeing it. We were on, we were on Everest. We never saw these clips. We only, we only watched the news about us when we came back. And that was like about a week later, right? Do you want to see more? Why? You have, have more, more, you yeah. have more clips, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. It was a journey and moment that captured the heart of the nation. The 12-member group is remembered as the first Singaporean team to reach the world's highest peak in 1998. It's like a life-transforming type of event. Uh, it was a culmination of four years of hard work, of leadership, of quite a number of setbacks, both dramatic and less dramatic. Besides being a demanding journey, the team also had to overcome many challenges, from recovering from an earlier failed attempt to summit the mountain, to dealing with naysayers. This is something that I've not told anyone before. Anyone in the team, outside the team. We get emails every day, so I download emails twice a day. And, and there was one email that came in in the evening before, the, before dinner that came in from this, I don't know who it was, but basically it was lambasting us for ever, even actually daring to climb the mountain in the first place. I looked at it once and I said this will not do the team any good. I just deleted it. According to Johan, their failed attempt galvanised the team and also got a lot of people behind them. It culminated in Edwin Siu and Ku Sui Chiao successfully summiting the mountain. And Singaporeans gladly expressed their pride at the team's perseverance. Way to go, Singapore! I'm so pleased! That's great! Yeah, that, that's, that's fantastic. I'm so glad they made it. I'm so happy. I really wanted to congratulate them. We Singaporeans should be proud of them. They didn't give, it, give up the whole expedition because they failed the first time. I'm glad they, they had the courage to go on. The team received a hero's welcome at Changi Airport, something they would never forget. That was the only time, well, the first time that I ever learned the meaning of how it was to be on cloud nine, you know, to be up in the air and to be just slightly above the ground and not exist on the same plane as everyone else. I think, I think that was the first, the first time that that actually happened. It was, it was amazing. I did tell all the people in the team that they'll never have to buy lunch again for the rest of the year because people will want to take them out for lunch to hear the story of the first Singapore Everest expedition. Lim, who still keeps this ice axe, which made its way to the summit, feels the team's achievement was crucial in enlarging the base of mountaineers in Singapore. Almost certainly, it set a benchmark. And I think it definitely led people to believe or dream of what could be possible. It gave people a sense of hope that, look, this can be done by Singaporean mountaineers. And it really set up a lot of success for people who followed in the years after. And true enough, several teams from Singapore have since gone on to scale Mount Everest.